everyone. Amanda Grace here with you today. Welcome everybody who is watching. Hello to everyone in the United States of America and around the world who is watching. And hello to our moderators and our Ark of Grace team. Thank you for helping us do what we do for the Lord. We have a lot to go through today. Some of it, I think you're going to find very profound and interesting. Uh, I wanted to say uh, first and foremost, that um, please just continue to pray because in New York, we are getting uh, backlash from what's going on in Canada with all of these fires and the air quality here is becoming an issue. And so please pray for the animals, our employees, the protection of everybody. We're going to make a plan today uh, because we are preparing to go to Israel. And so we're making a plan. So please pray for the animals, our staff, who is so wonderful with the animals, um, and, and for a hedge of protection, we're asking, because I can even see it outside. Uh, it doesn't look too great from my view right now. But you know what? God is able God is an ever-present help in times of trouble, and I know he is working. So I just wanted to ask for prayer for that. So let us open up in prayer, and then we'll get into what we have for today. So Father God, in the precious name of your son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, we come before you. We praise you. You are almighty God. You are high and lifted up far above every power, principality, and might. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise that is due your precious holy name. We humble ourselves before you this day, Father, asking that the pull of the flesh becomes less in our lives, so you, your will, and your power become more in our lives. We acknowledge you sent your son, Jesus Christ, Yeshua, to the earth, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us. He was the Passover lamb, the sacrifice for our sins. He willingly died at Calvary and purchased us that day by the shedding of his blood, and that blood dripped onto the mercy seat, purchased us, redeemed us that day. He was buried and rose again in three days, and after appearing to men, he ascended back into heaven, took his rightful victorious place at the right hand of the Father, where he rules and reigns forevermore. And we honor that before you this day. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we invite your presence, Father God, the presence of the Holy Spirit, Lord, the Ruach HaKadosh, to fill this place, that the weight of your glory would saturate the atmosphere, that the power of your presence would move, rest on this broadcast, rest on the property, Father, that you would put a hedge of protection around us, both properties and the animals right now, Father God, with what is happening. Father, we just ask in the name of Jesus Christ that you, the people of Canada, Father God, the people and animals that are in harm's way with this, that you rescue them, that you dispatch your angelic army of all rankings and divisions to move them out of harm's way, Father God. Lord, those fighting these fires, we just ask, Father God, for your protection, Lord, and wisdom to be upon them, Lord. In Jesus' name, Father God, Lord, we just we just come before you, Father God, and, and we just come before your throne, Father, humbly but boldly to the throne of grace, Father, asking for this in Jesus' name, Lord, we just ask this day that you would lead us in all wisdom, counsel, my power, and the reverential fear of the Lord. By the power of the blood of Jesus Christ, by the spirit of the one true living God, may only the truth and power of Almighty God with authority now come forth in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, every plot, scene, contract, assignment, weaponry, blueprint, attack, strategy that the enemy, satanic agents, dark forces, unclean spirits, vessels, and the like would attempt, we command, be broken, canceled, aborted, destroyed, dismantled, disabled, nullified, their communication lines confused and disrupted, It all bound and cast back to the dry places and pits and areas you have designated, Lord, to be bound there in the name of Jesus Christ and not return nor have anything sent in its place. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, take all the glory for yourself, Father. You are the potter. We are merely the clay. You are the author and finisher of our faith. Without your breath of life in us, Father God, we don't have life. Your word says that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. And we praise you this day in the name of Jesus Christ, Yeshua. Amen and amen. Okay. Amen. Praise the Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. I tell the Lord a lot. I need you every breath of every second of every day. And I mean it. I mean that uh, because I do. And we all do right now uh, every day with what we see happening. So I'm going to get into some things. There, there's a lot of different things we're going to get into here that the Lord has been. I perceive it to be the Lord showing me over the past week and a half or so, and I've been writing it down. Some of it I sat on and just prayed about, and so now we're ready to talk about it. The first thing I want to talk about is Anheuser-Busch. We all know 
the quagmire of insanity that they have created and the backlash that has happened because of it uh, with this whole Bud Light fiasco. Isn't it interesting of all the beers they chose Bud Light because Satan comes as an angel of light? I don't find that to be an accident. So that just came to me just now real time as we're talking. And I'm going to give you a little background here because there's something very interesting going on with this. So the headquarters of Anheuser-Busch is in St. Louis, Missouri, where that very large ominous arch resides that looks like a, a weird looking portal. Now, uh, we it there is a theory which I find a little fascinating. And this is what it says about this arch. An engineer who had close ties to the Gateway Arch architect, Aero Saranen, and helped draw plans for the construction of the monument has dropped an explosive bombshell claiming the famed Finnish designer, he was from Finland, specifically envisioned the arch as a means to control Midwestern weather patterns. So this 94-year-old engineer who prefers to be known as JD is speaking out for the first, uh, first time regarding this major revelation, which has been... Um, a topic amongst conspiracy theorists. He says, I was one of the few persons in the design room with Arrow when he revealed his actual vision for the arch, says JD. We were sworn to secrecy to never reveal the truth. He defends his revelation, saying that he is unable to continue to live a lie by keeping one of the biggest secrets of the 20th century. So I find that just interesting, and I just wanted to throw that in there. So what's the connection here to Germany and the Weimar Republic with this beer company? Well, the company had its origin in a small brewery opened in St. Louis by George Snyder in 1852. This faltering enterprise was bought by the soap manufacturer Eberhard Anheuser in 1860. In the following year, Anheuser's daughter married Adolphus Bush, a brewery supplier who became the driving force behind the brewery's success uh, and future success. They were both German immigrants. Budweiser stands for because you deserve what every individual should enjoy regularly. OK, so that's apparently the acronym that goes along with it. Now, in Germany, there is something called the Ad, the Adler Bogen, which is the Eagle Arch. It is a triumphal arch located on the eastern side of the Donnersburg. The steel structure was built in 1880, meant to honor Field Marshal Count Helmuth von Moltke and Chancellor Otto von Bismarck. So I find it interesting that Anheuser Bush, of all places they could have their headquarters, it's in the city that has this arch. And in Germany, you have this Eagle Arch. So I just found that very interesting now it gets even better this arch was destroyed the eagle was shot off the top um and it basically in world war ii this happens but in 2016 the arch was restored to its original design uh the adler bogan is located on a forest path on the donnersburg near dannen fells and can only be reached on foot via various hiking trails so in 2016 they decide we're going to restore this arch you know what else happened in 2016 september 2016 replica of syrian arch destroyed by isis unveiled in new york city known as the arch of Baal. so in the same year they decide to restore this arch in germany the arch of Baal appears in the United States in New York City. Uh, so I find that very fascinating as well. Uh, also, this is all connected because you've got Anheuser-Busch, Germany, connected to both arches, both restored and displayed in 2016. Now you've got this Bud Light with this LBGTQ XYZ, okay, and and transgenderism, which connects to the Weimar Republic in Germany, because one of the last things that happened in the Weimar Republic before it fell to the Third Reich was the rise and flourishing of the LGBTQ and transgenderism community. It, it went rampant in that area, and that is one of the last things that happened before the Third Reich ended up taking over. Also, 
we have Adolphus, right? The name, which is a very common name in Germany, and Adolf, which was the first name of Hitler. And so I find that interesting, too, that the spellings happen to be a little similar, both because they are from Germany. And so that's the only point I want to make with that. But all of this is no accident. First Peter 2.16 says, act as free people and do not use your freedom as a covering for evil, but use it as a bond servant of God, because f- freedom and liberty are a little different because liberty is freedom with responsibility. This is what this is talking about. You're giving your freedom, but you really should act in it as liberty, which is a responsibility to keep that freedom pure and not use it for a covering of evil, not use freedom in order to go commit all sorts of acts and craziness of evil. Now, I don't think this whole thing is over by a long shot. Uh, with all of this. And, uh, you know, I, I think this is this is going to drag on. I think there's they're going to turn on each other, many of them. Uh, I, I believe that you're going to see those connected to Bush uh, and Iser Bush turning on them as well. I just think this is going to be and, and, and he said, she said, pointing the fingers, trying to salvage now that that Rome is on fire and they want to act and they want to try to like sway the public away from that. But Rome is definitely burning in that sense. Now we're going to segue into a different Avenue and I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to do this first. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to do this first because I want to kind of do this in, some sort of order. So we're going to go in to May 28th. I had a dream about Johnny Depp. Now I have never dreamt about Johnny Depp ever in my life, but on the 28th of May, I had a dream and I've been sitting on it ever since. Remember I had the dream about Tucker Carlson. That was March 27th. I didn't talk about it till I think it was April 19th. And I sat on it and prayed about it. So kind of the same thing here. I had it on May 28th and I sat on this and I prayed about it. So this was the dream. There was this long road. It was very dark and cloudy. Johnny Depp was on this road, but looking much younger, like, like he did maybe more towards the beginning of his film career. There was a lot of torment and people constantly coming up, hovering around him and influencing his mind. In the dream, I was determined to get his attention, to get him off that road because it is a road of perdition. It's a road of destruction. More than once I approached to urgently try and get him off this road, but he looked distracted and depressed and focused on walking this road. It's like he wasn't listening. He was just kept going down this road and continuing with all of this torment and perdition. So this this gentleman needs a lot of prayer right now because total destruction is waiting for him on this road and he is headed right for it. And the Lord has sent people to try and direct him off such a road. And he has not listened because the pull of this way of life on this road, his flesh is too weak, his spirit too immature to fight such because these are very strong forces that are trying to keep him on this road road because it's going to lead right to his complete and total demise. So pray for him right now. Pray that this gets intercepted. Pray that this gets dealt with because um, it's it's a serious situation. If I dreamt about it, if this was brought to my attention, this is a very serious, urgent situation. Uh, they all need prayer, especially these people that have entered this arena of Hollywood and have gone into the depths that this man has. They need prayer. The Lord wants to see them saved. Um, and this is his opportunity right now. This is his come to Jesus moment. Honestly, this is it. Yeah, he looked like that, but with longer hair and a mustache. Yeah, so he had longer hair and a mustache, and he had, and his hair was like probably almost to his shoulders. So thank you. That was a good. That, those were good picks to kind of like describe that. Okay, so pray for that. That's all I'm going to say about that. Now, 
on the 27th of May, I received a word from the Lord addressing doctors and and children and formula that they take. So I'm going to read to you what, what was given to me on the 27th of May, 2023, because I've sat on this also and prayed about it. You are going to see roots with, okay, so this is speaking to doctors right now. So the Lord is speaking to you right now, doctors. You are going to see roots with the name of the disease below it, the root cause. You will see pictures appear before you of what has been going on in that patient's life that they are not divulging. You will see words appear before you with the name of the strong man in the spirit so you can rebuke it in Jesus' name. The Lord is going to give you creative combinations that are going to be so effective it will rattle department heads. There is about to be a swell of doctors who are led by the spirit coming to the forefront in the medical arena. And those who want to do the bidding of the kingdom of darkness of corrupt conglomerates will suddenly, that's capitalized, be forced out, drop out, and be abruptly ushered out of some of the largest hospitals in America. For the spirit of the Lord, his feet, that's capitalized, are touching down and his presence shall resound in the hallways and the wings of hospitals and children's wings, especially. For in this season, says the Lord, you shall see more children healed of cancer suddenly, miraculously. It shall go as quickly as it came, for it comes down to even what they have put in the formula, says the Lord. There is an ingredient in common formulas that switches on at the cellular level and opens the door that cancer needs to grow. This shall be found out, says the Lord. One of the largest bombs to hit that industry is about to hit. For I, the Lord thy God, love my little ones, and they are called. I have called them by name, and they shall be. there shall be so many healings in particular. Hospitals of this nature in America, I think he means children's cancer hospitals too, that they shall even do studies on such, says the Lord. Watch for it, for it is fast approaching. Thus says the Lord of hosts in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. So that was what I received on May 27th. And then the Lord spoke to me on June 4th. And then we're going to go into some prophecy fulfilled and some other things that we need to talk about right now. So on June 4th, the Lord spoke to me. And this is what the Lord said. The enemy has utilized divorce, separation, and single motherhood especially to remove the father figure from the home and children's lives. So an aversion to fathers was created. Through this, they would not have a desire to know the Lord because of the aversion and separation that many times causes animosity towards the father figure. Through too much reliance on the mother and no bond with the father, it creates a schism between the child and the father, which has caused the younger generation to see no need for a relationship with the Lord, because in many cases, it was a woman who raised them and assisted in shaping their point of view. There are amazing single parents out there. Don't get me wrong here. However, amazing. Some of them have reared their children up in the Lord, and it's been absolutely amazing. However, the enemy has utilized this in ways to put just enough distance between the children and the father that they have a very difficult time coming to the Lord. This is why the younger generation needs so much prayer, because the enemy has caused true biblical manhood to become obsolete. That is the cornerstone of the family. Biblical manhood is an endangered species, intentionally hunted and killed off by the enemy, for the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. This is something that we need a flourishing of right now in this nation, biblical manhood. It needs to be brought back. It is not a bad thing to have a, a man that gives children a wonderful view of whom Almighty God is that protects and provides and does everything the Lord has called them to do. So we we need this to come back into this nation. We need biblical manhood. Yes, there are exceptions when things happen and the Lord works all things together for good for those who love God and called according to his purpose. And the Lord can utilize single parents um, and wives to, to, to help their husbands in times of need and single parents to rear up their children in the Lord and to help them. Absolutely. But the enemy has specifically done this to put that distance. So children are alienated from wanting to know the father. 
And so this is something that the Lord shared with me on June 4th, 2023. And I wanted to share with you now. We're also going to get into some things here, some words from the Lord that I believe are pertinent to now. So on February 26, 2023, at Church International, Robin Bullock's church, the spirit of the Lord hit me and I went into flow immediately and I started to prophesy. And this is part of that prophecy. And it says, behold, I, the Lord God, am doing a new thing. Do you not see it? In this season, you must have eyes to see and ears to hear, says the Lord, what the spirit has to say, because imposters shall arise and they shall recite the word. And they have been groomed to be the Trojan horse, says the Lord. They have been groomed to come in looking like a gift. It is a curse, says the Lord. It is a curse. Pray for discernment, my children, in this season, because a vessel that may look perfect on the outside is filled with darkness on the inside. And pray, my children, says the Lord, for leadership, for it is as a strong ox, some of them. And I, the Lord, shall subdue them, says the Lord. They will listen. They will submit. They will surrender and they will learn to wear the yoke, says the Lord, if they want to lead for me. David wore the yoke, says the Lord. Hezekiah wore the yoke, says the Lord. The name is etched on that yoke and it shall be revealed. It shall be solidified. So with what we see and who we see entering uh, this presidential race, I find this word very pertinent for now. You really have to pray to discern right now what is going on. Uh, because I, I think they're trying to heavily dilute the waters. Uh, and so I would just watch and pray, but this Trojan horse issue is going to come into play more and more. So I wanted to share that. Then on May 12, 2023, a reawakened America in Miami at Trump Doral, the spirit of the Lord hit me and I delivered a word from the Lord. And I'm going to read to you that word because it's pertinent once again for the things that are coming and the things we begin to see happening now so this is what it says and the lord thy god says this day <clears throat> is my arm too short that it cannot save is my power too little that it cannot overcome for you are an overcomer through christ jesus i the lord thy god am an ever-present help in times of trouble and i am raising up joshua's in this hour joshua's with boldness warriors Joshua's in the legal field. Joshua's with judges, which is it. I find that so it that is a play on words because I I just because those the, those books um, are close together. It's Joshua judges, I believe, in the word of God. I'll double check that. But these books are very close together in the word of God. Joshua and judges. I, the Lord, thy God, am strategically in this hour raising this up so your hearts can be right for me. For I, the Lord thy God, desire to do a mighty work in your nation. And I have allowed some of these things to occur to expose the depths the enemy will go to steal from you the covenant you have made with me. For Israel cries out and the United States does not answer. That in this season must be reconciled, says the Lord. And I, the Lord thy God, will allow the chains to come for those that have attempted to bind those speaking truth. I will allow those chains to come for those who have done it, to come for those who have tried to destroy who I, the Lord, have raised up, who have tried to destroy what my, that's capitalized, desire is in, the, in this nation. This is about my, that's capitalized, desire ultimately, says the Lord. Humble yourselves before me, O Peters. Humble yourselves before me, Joshua's. Humble yourselves before me, those that hold the offices in the spirit. Humble yourselves to hear what I, the Lord thy God, want to say, because through the noise, I, the Lord thy God, am taking the sword of the spirit. I am cutting through that noise. Let those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, hear, that's capitalized what the spirit has to say in this hour, hear, exclamation point, that's capitalized. Not hear the coiling serpents that blaspheme the name of the Lord across the airwaves. Not hear the seducing spirits that are lulling people into perversion and lies and blasphemous covenants. But hear what I, the Lord, that's capitalized, thy God, have to say. 
For I am raising up strongholds in this nation for the people of God to go to. I am bringing down the high places and I am raising up these towers for the people of God to stand on and cry out to the Lord in this nation. For I, the Lord thy God, will not, that's capitalized, be mocked. I will not, that's capitalized, be blasphemed without answering. Oh, they may. Oh, they may call out and say there is no God. In this season, they will learn there is almighty God on the throne. His name is Adonai, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, Lord of hosts. And I, the Lord, that's capitalized, thy God, am leading this army in this hour. And I, the Lord, thy God, am making adjustments and repositioning where there has been error. I, the Lord thy God, am dealing with sins that have that happened long ago, and I am making corrections, and I am making adjustments, and there will be hard, that's capitalized, adjustments that the whole nation, that's capitalized, will feel. And the awe, that's capitalized, of my, that is also capitalized, my mighty power will fall. People will question. People will look when this hard adjustment happens. It is coming. It is coming, says the Lord. And says the Lord thy God this day, call on to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you know not. All capitals. Do not doubt my power in this hour. The enemy would love, that's capitalized, for you to think nothing more than this nation is totally lost and may be on the cusp. But one word that's capitalized from me, says the Lord, turns it. All capitals. One word turns your situation. One moment of favor can reverse a lifetime, says the Lord of mistakes, a lifetime of carnage, a lifetime of brokenness, burden, affliction, and chains. One word. Call on me for that. Seek me in this hour. Get your hearts right before me, says the Lord, for what I am about to do for the people of this nation. Come unto me as sheep come unto their shepherd. I am the good shepherd. And those fools that sit in a white house do not argue with a fool, says the Lord. Do not argue with a fool. I, the Lord thy God, deal with them in due season and they get their just wage for their sin. And that season is coming, says the Lord. The grace period is thinning. It's thinning. And I, the Lord thy God, am dealing with that in this hour. And I, the Lord thy God, will give them their just portion for their sins due in proportion on the scales of justice for their sins. For their scrolls have already gone out, says the Lord. They have gone out by my army. They are positioned in this nation. And says the Lord thy God this day, there, there'll be an event that happens, that shakes it and begins to turn the breach. And you will see change begin to come forth after that. Do not doubt, trust in the Lord. Leadership, come under my yoke right now. I am calling to you. I am calling to you. I am leaving the 99 to go after the one. Come under my yoke. I am raising the standard here. This is my standard, says the Lord. You will yield to my standard in this hour, and you will watch me do an incredible work in this nation. Thus says the Lord of hosts, in Jesus' name, amen. So that was, praise the Lord, at Reawaken America in Miami. So just watch for this. It is up on the blog. So this particular word is up on the blog, Amanda Grace, the number four him.blogspot.com right now. And you can get it there. So just watch for this, pray, and we'll move on here. We have a couple of other things right now that I'm going to go over with you. So one of them was from July 11th, 2022. And says the spirit of the Lord this day, the northern part of Canada, watch for an uncanny event for unusual events and occurrences out of Canada shall cause the landscape, the, he says the landscape, the legal scape of the nation to change. So the landscape and the legal scape of the nation will be changing. As I, the Lord, deliver the, deliver the pastors from the lion's den that jealous, wicked leadership so threw them into. That was July 11th, 2022. May 24th, 2023, the rage, the raging wildfires in Western Canada have wiped out more than 2 million acres of land in Alberta. The Lord had warned the landscape was changing. Officials say Australia and New Zealand are set to send assistance to help tame the blaze. So pray for them. So now that we're seeing the landscape, now starting to look up, look to the legal scape. Uh, of Canada now. Look to the legal system and what happens. So we wanted to share that with you. We also 
have yep there it is there's one of the videos on it um where it's showing it can it would uh what's going on there it's it's absolutely horrific it is changing the landscape of canada um it is burning a, a lot up um and and i think it's a physical manifestation and yes people may be assisting in this but it's a physical manifestation of a very large spiritual problem and a leadership problem in Canada. So just, just watch where this goes. Watch the legal system right now of Canada. Okay. Then July 11th, 2022, and says the spirit of the Lord this day, a house arrest, O house, O Congress. Yes, a house arrest indeed is upon you as your hidden crimes and dealings have dislodged and are now coming to the surface for air as they will get deals to deliver you to your captors, says the Lord of hosts. May 10th, 2023, Republican Representative George Santos surrendered to federal authorities at a courthouse in suburban Long Island on Wednesday, facing 13 counts of criminal wrongdoing. Now, I think this house arrest has a, a dual meaning. I think this is um, this is only one part of it. I think this means something else as well. So I would watch for that I, because a house arrest as well. When somebody's put on house arrest and they can't leave their house. And they're monitored. So I would just watch for that as well. But I, this is part of it. We'll see how this plays out with this representative. I don't know much about what happened with George Santos aside of this. But the Lord is saying these hidden crimes, these dealings, anything that's going on is dislodging. And it's now coming to the surface. And we're beginning to now see these things happen uh, in Congress. So I wanted to share that with you as well. Oh, my goodness gracious. There's a lot. And we will move on to read to you an excerpt from December 14th, 2022. And this is what it says. Woe unto you who have made deals with the corrupt to keep your seats, for you are merely seat warmers and you have just signed your own certificate of removal, says the Lord, for an incident shall occur in the house where there shall be a removal of two house members from their seats. And it shall tip the scales of justice even more as their plans to derail investigations as they have their liaisons hard at work. This is all the way back last year shall fail. Their plans to smear those who have taken a stand with frivolous matters and sheer lies. The smear campaign shall befall them. Instead, says the Lord, a campaign is going forth, says the Lord, unlike any other. Wait, unlike any you have ever seen, says the Lord, and there shall be sudden challenges. And I, the Lord, will require a full commitment to me in order to rise to the occasion to rise above the fray you shall not be in the squabble you shall be above it listen O oh you leaders this is capitalized the squabble and the backbiting shall be your downfall if you so choose to quarrel with pigs in a pen i am requiring you leaders to come above such and listen to me that's capitalized the lord and walk in truth and in uprightness for you shall catch an updraft and soar that's capitalized Above such, do not get yourself entangled in the maze of the media, for it is a maze meant to confuse. Do not, that's capitalized. For I, the Lord thy God, am shining a giant spotlight on the issues, the real issues, that's capitalized. For what has been layered above the real issues is nothing but the fat of lies and embellishments. And that layer is being cut off, says the Lord. Entitlements are being exposed, says the Lord, for there are entitlements that have gone under the cover of other spending that Congress has attempted to so give themselves and their informants. Yes, that's capitalized. Within the House and the Senate, there are those in their seats who are paying informants to spy on their constituents and to spy on the opposite party, seeing red, says the Lord, seeing red, and says the Spirit of the Lord this day, those appointed within the White House shall fall as dominoes, says the Lord, including one deep within that is attached to the brotherhood. The rainbow shall be their downfall. This is important, says the Lord. Their open portals shall release sores upon them, broken out in sores, says the Lord. Just watch for the dark winter shall befall them, even into spring, says the Lord, a fall off the stage. Now, we are still in spring because summer doesn't begin till June 21st. 
That's when summer begins. So we are still in spring right now. Okay. So that's what it says. Shall befall them even into spring, says the Lord. Then, then he uses after that sentence with the word spring in it, a fall off the stage is coming, says the Lord. His mind wearies and he wearies of being puppeted, says the Lord. And this he shall speak openly and publicly where it shall be known and rampant what was said as the first lady has taken comfort in another and this shall be exposed as the charade of a marriage draws to a close. Now, that's why I wanted to read all this because of what is in here, especially with going into spring and then a fall off the stage. So that was put... Now, June 1st, 2023, Biden falls on stage at U.S. Air Force Academy graduation. President Joe Biden fell on stage Thursday after giving a commencement speech at the U.S. Air Force Academy. Video shows the 80-year-old Biden trip on a black sandbag as he walked off the stage at Falcom Stadium, Colorado. He was immediately flanked by Air Force officials who helped him up. White House pool reports say he appeared to be okay after the fall and continued to stand until the ceremony ended a few minutes later. Okay. Black sandbag. Now, I want to just go there for a minute with this. In the word of God, it says, the wise man builds his house upon the rock. The foolish man builds his house upon the sand. It was a black sandbag he fell over. This, I don't think, is an accident. This, I think, is quite prophetic of what's coming. But I will tell you, there's there's a pattern here. There's a very important pattern that is forming that we need to watch for the month of June into the summer, maybe even going to the end of the year. Last year, during the month of June, on June 18th, 2022, which is Pride Month, Okay, what they call Biden falls off his bike in Rehoboth Beach in Delaware. In June, during Pride Month last year, he falls. This year, June 1st, 2023, during Pride Month, he falls. So two years in a row in the month of June, in the month filled with pride, he falls. This is not an accident that this is going on. This is highly prophetic that we we see this pattern emerging. And it's so important, this pattern and, and, and what's coming because of it. Proverbs 16, 16 through 19. How much better it is to get wisdom than gold and to get understanding is to be chosen above silver. The highway of the upright is to depart from evil. He who watches his way preserves his life. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before stumbling. It is better to be humble in spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud. This is no accident. Two years in a row in the month of June, in a month filled with pride, he falls. So just keep watch on this because there is something really serious developing here that is going is going to be a judgment against who has hijacked the rainbow. And so I would just watch this as well as the White House. So I would just watch for this. Uh, I'm going to be in prayer about this because this is a very interesting development that's happening. Now, let's see what else here. This is another thing having to do with this. Many who targeted the children and public with such perversion and willful destruction will fall publicly, shamefully, scandalously. They shall turn on each other to save their empires and movements that are steeped in Far East ties, even deep within Mexico. These ties run. This was something that just came to me today and I was writing. So many who targeted the children and public. Okay. That includes target. So keep watch because that backlash is happening as well. Also today, as I was here and I was, I was listening for the Lord, the Lord, this is pretty incredible, gave me the meaning, the acronym for the transgender movement that is hidden in their spelling. And this is what it is to redesign and negate 
sex genetics education negating DNA, embryos, and race. That real time came to me about an hour before you know, I, I had, I was writing down other notes and, and, and getting other things ready. And so about an, you know, an hour before I was, I was getting, looking up things and, and getting notes and things like that. This had come to me once again, I'm going to read it to you again, to redesign and negate sex genetics, education, negating DNA, embryos, and race. This is the meaning of it within their spelling and the Lord is exposing it. This is the true agenda. So this is, uh, I, I, I was pretty blown away uh, by this when, when I received this and I, and I praise the Lord that, that I was able to write it down quickly. And so this is something really just to, just to keep in mind and to watch for and to pray about because they're hitting all those areas and it's right within the spelling. And this is why they've spelled it this way. So just keep that in mind also, because uh, it's something pretty profound. Praise the Lord. It's something that's pretty profound. And uh, I think that is where we are going to end today. As you can see, my voice is even like struggling a little bit from, I think from the, the air quality and what is going on here in New York. So once again, just pray. We're going to put a plan together and we're going to make sure everyone's okay and the animals are okay. And uh, so, yes, God is good. He is ever present. He is all knowing, almighty, all powerful. Get him involved. I always say, get him involved in the problem early. Come to him early. Don't wait and try to figure it out in your flesh, but like come to him early with the issue and let him begin to work out, weed out, deal with, correct, and do those things. So, so I encourage you in that as well. So we're at, we're at almost 45 minutes. So I think this is where we're going to end. So God bless everyone. Keep the faith. We love you. Pray for us as we head to Israel. Um, I'm, I'm sure we will be sending back many videos for you to see, but just pray for us as well. Pray for our staff as well um, as they take care of the ark here. And um, yeah, so here we go. That's all I could say. Here we go. We're, we're, we're getting ready for it. I, I've been praying. I'm like, Lord, help me. I'm, go I'm doing this. We're going. We're, we're getting ready here. So praise the Lord. Armor up according to Ephesians chapter 6 and Psalm 91 every single day. I say it every day. I would not tell you to say something I don't say. Psalm 91 every single day. That is like a contract. It's like an agreement. It is powerful. It is poignant. And we need it during this time. So God bless everyone. Have a wonderful day. And I have to tell you something. They work. It is an alternative to big pharma based on quantum physics, over 40 scripture verses written into these patches for everything from blood sugar, anxiety, pain, neuropathy, to immune system boost, dog pain. They are very yes. sincere about um, having alternatives to big pharma. We are a big advocate of natural solutions to help with pain and, and, and blood sugar and a host of other issues. I yeah. tried the pain patches and, yes. and they worked when I used them. When you connect it to your body, the skin patch changes changes your brain waves. Sugar, this one is neuropathy. I actually have it on. And we use this on Toby, actually, because Toby's about eight years old. And from being paralyzed years ago and the Lord miraculously healing him, he has a little leftover with his joints and his hips. So we actually give him the doggy pain patches. What was he doing? He was running? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I walked him out. And wow, he's boom. And he got power. I said, no way. And I don't know. I said, Amanda, what? What did you do to him? To <laughs> <laughs> so it's good. If you are looking for an excellent doctor, if you are looking to get healthier, if you are looking to understand why the things in your body operate the way they do, go to Sherwood 
twitch.tv forward slash Amanda Grace. Doctors Mark and Michelle Sherwood of the Functional Medical Institute in Tulsa, Oklahoma are there to help you with all of your medical needs. In fact, I am a patient of the Functional Medical Institute and God bless Dr. Sherwood because Chris was a tough nut to crack on this. But after over a year and a half, Chris is finally on board. He is a patient of Dr. Sherwood's and him listening and, and implementing what Dr. Sherwood has taught him has made a difference in his life. So if you are interested and curious as to what they do, if you'd like to make an appointment, if you'd like to see what products they have, because they have some amazing products, go to Sherwood.tv forward slash Amanda Grace. Thank you. You want to support an amazing patriot that's doing so much for our country and be a blessing. You can go to MyPillow.com and use promo code ARC, A-R-K, to save up to 66% or sometimes more off of all my pillow products. They are so much more than just pillows. They have amazing bathrobes. They have sheets. They have slippers. They, of course, have pillows. And they even have dog beds. And I will tell you a fun fact. Noble, our pig at the animal sanctuary that many of you know and love, has indeed slept on a my pillow dog bed. So if you'd like to be a blessing, go to MyPillow.com and use promo code ARC. God bless everyone. If you are looking for advice on financial matters, if you think gold and silver is something that you should invest in, go to bh-pm.com today. Andrew Sorcini of Beverly Hills Precious Metals, who's been on Ark of Grace many times, he loves to answer our viewer questions. In fact, he's answered all sorts of questions about gold, silver, the markets, even the real estate market he's been kind enough to answer questions about. So if you would like more information, if this is something you would like to invest in, please go to bh-pm.com today. That is bh-pm.com. Hello, everyone. It's Amanda Grace. I'm here to talk to you today about this incredible product that I use every day called Power Team. It is 130 raw superfoods. And I have to tell you, it is one of the most amazing products I have ever used. I take it every day. It helps me with energy. It helps feed my cells at the cellular level. It helps me with clarity and focus. It helps with so many things and functions in your body, including your gut as well. So if you would like to learn more about this product, if you would like to learn the 130 raw superfoods that are in this product, please go to the link below or you could go to arcofgrace-ministries.com and go to our shop section and you will find Power Team there as well. Thank you, everyone. If you would like to grow your own food with what we see going on right now in the world, with not only food supplies, but what they are doing to our food, you can go to amandagracegrows.com. These are amazing hydroponic growers. In fact, we have one in our parrot room, and this is an indoor one we have where you can grow food all year round, actually. Vegetables all year round. And we are doing that, actually, for our birds and our animals at our sanctuary. They also have outdoor ones. They actually yield 30% more and grow the vegetables three times faster. So if you would like to learn more, go to amandagracegrows.com. God bless. Hello everyone, it's Amanda Grace. I'm here to talk to you today about Reawaken America. I have had the honoring and humbling privilege of being able to be part of Reawaken America since the first one was had at Rima Bible College in Tulsa, Oklahoma in April of 2021. I have watched so many moments happen for the glory of God at Reawaken America. We have seen people healed, delivered, set free. We love to pray for people at Reawaken America. We have had the honor of praying alongside some amazing people uh, Marty Grisham from Loudmouth Prayer, Pastor Todd Coconato, who also deals in deliverance. And we have seen people's lives changed. We have seen them set free. We have seen people who are come seeking. And the Lord says, when you seek, you shall find. And you knock, the door shall be opened unto you. They have been seeking, and those seeds get planted for the glory of God at Reawaken America. The Word of God says it is the knowledge of the truth that shall set free 
you free. And this is what we are doing at Reawaken America. You get biblical truth. You get a foundation of the word of God. And you also get necessary information right now to help you understand what is going on in America and the world. And I am humbled and honored that General Flynn and Clay Clark would even let me be a part of this. And people need the word of the Lord in this hour. That is what they need. They need those who are willing to boldly stand up and with the conviction and the authority from God, speak the word of the Lord into their lives. It is a catalyst. It is life changing. And, and we praise the Lord that we have continued in this. And we hope to see you at upcoming events that are happening this year. We hope we get to pray over you at these upcoming events.